Hello friends. Today we will learn the information package diagram. Information package. What is package? We bundle something inside and we call it our package. Now here we have information package. So you have to pack the information inside a bundle. We are packing the information, information package and information package diagram. So you are representing the information package or bundle information through a graphical diagram. So let's see the most generalized level of information is given through the information package diagram. The information package diagram focuses on the information collection. So what are the requirements of the users are on high priority. So all this information is collected from the users. It gives the relationship between subject and key performance measures. So how the subject is related to the key performance measure. It highly focuses on the information collection and this information is the user's requirements. Deciding the information requirements of data warehouse. So this is the main important thing related to the information package diagram. So what information is required to build the data warehouse? What are the requirements depending on the business dimension? Also, this information package diagram bundles the data related to the data design and the architecture of the data warehouse. So it influences on the data design and the architecture as well. So which kind of architecture we are going to apply for designing the data warehouse. For example, you may go for the three tier architecture or four tier architecture. Usually, the users are not able to define the requirements clearly. So the users are unaware about the technical things for modeling or for stating the requirements. And also the user lack in telling what they want and what will be the output in what form they want the outputs or the results. In that case, the manager have to think about the business dimensions. Where the users are unclear about their requirements, the manager for by focusing on the business dimension gives the better analysis results to the users so it can model and say the user requirements and analyze the user's point of view on the achievement of the results for example you can see we are focusing on the analysis of the sales so the dimensions product time and location so the information related can be put in the form of information package diagram. So here we can mention the dimensions, time, items, location as well as the supplier. In the downside we can So in this case the time dimension may be mentioned by using yes or it can be put by using the another time hierarchies so you can use years or you can use quarters to represent the time dimension the item consists of the item name or item id so the related dimensions can be analyzed and the Analysis can be done by using the measures or facts. For example, you need sold or total sale.
This information package diagram focuses on what the user wants. It basically facilitates the communication between the users and the technicians. The technical staff how to communicate with the users so also they have to focus on the business dimension. They collect the information required for the data warehouse based on the dimensions. The information package is created for the specific subject. The information can be information package can be designed for let's say customer. It decides the data representation form. It defines the common subject areas. It decides how aggregate or the other operations can be performed to execute the required query. So how to perform the analytical processing? It can be decided by the information package diagram. It also tells what is the frequency of the data refresh. So after how much time we should update or we should refresh the data. It also calculates the data warehouse size. So this much of information is bundled and much more in the information package diagram. Their ultimate goal is to improve upon the business or to have the more satisfied satisfaction from the user's point of view. So in the today's lecture we have seen what is the information package diagram and how it is useful in the data warehouse development as well as the implementation. Thank you.